Hello folks, Bronco Bob here with Texas Best Used Motorcycles. Here today to show you a really nice piece of automotive history. The last year, the 1957 Ford Thunderbird. It's got the famous removable hardtop and it's got the porthole window that everybody loves. The interior is very nice. It's a blue two-tone vinyl. It's an automatic transmission. Shows 51,999 miles. Don't know, have any way to know if that's actual or if it's over. The dash is in excellent shape. Door panels are nice. It also has a soft top. Pull the seat forward. And there's the soft top. You can see it's brand new cloth. It's been replaced. It's got power steering. This car has been sitting for about 10 years. In fact, you can see the Texas inspection sticker is 2005 and we're in 2016. We got the car, been sitting. We put some brand new Coker white walls on it. The other tires had lots of tread, but they were cracked. Uh, it's got, got a good spare tire. It's been out of the weather. The paint job is probably 20 or 25 years old. When you walk up on the car, it looks really good. But when you look real close, you can see some imperfections in the paint. Like right here, there's a place that's been touched up there on the quarter panel. Like I say, it's an older paint job, but when they did it, they did it right. They replaced the rubber moldings because they're not cracked. It's got Southern California AAA sticker, so I'm going to assume the car came from California. So the body is solid. It's not rusted out like some of the older cars are. Under the hood, it still has the generator. The wiring looks pretty original. It's got the, uh, there's the heater. There's the, the VIN tag. Looks like the coil, the plug wires, distributor cap look pretty new. The battery's new because we put it in. It has an upgraded Griffin radiator, which is for heavy duty cooling. The belts and the hoses have been replaced. It's just a neat, neat, neat old car. Under the hood is painted white. It's got the famous Thunderbird hood scoop. It's got 1957 Texas plates, which is kind of a cool touch. You can register these cars as antiques in Texas with that tag, and I think they're good. They do them every five years or something like that. I don't know all the details. It's got the classic fender skirts, the fins on the back. The exhaust normally would be routed through the bumper, but it's it turns down before the bumper. Just makes it easier to clean. You can see the turn down is right there. The fuel tank's also been replaced. The car, we put fuel in it. We drained the old fuel, we put a battery in it. And after sitting all this time, it she actually started right up. It's got one lifter that's ticking a little bit. Don't know if it just needs to be adjusted or maybe just needs to be, probably change the oil and go drive it. Give it what I call an Italian tune-up and that's put some fresh fuel in it and just run it down the highway. Let it, kind of let it eat. I'll start it up and let you hear it. Love these old Ford keys. The, uh, the tachometer still works, which is kind of cool. Got to put it in neutral to start it. So you can see the tachometer's working. Temperature gauge, fuel gauge. The clock does not work. And I haven't checked the heater because it's 91 degrees here in Texas. It's got nice floor mats. Well, now the lifter's not ticking. It was ticking a few minutes ago. Maybe when it gets warmed up, it'll tick a little more. But it, they're hydraulic lifters and they just got to pump up. So maybe, maybe truthfully, it just needs to be driven. I did put some fresh fuel in it. But a white 57 T-Bird is just, 
it's a classic all the way from the uh, American Graffiti movie people associate the good times in the 50s in these cars but this car is a driver quality you could show the car but it's not a show car per se you can't stick mirrors under it and see that the rear differential is painted shiny black I mean it's more of a, dr a drive-in car show type car but it does need to be driven it probably could stand a little bit of a tune-up um, it does have oil in it the oil looks clean we haven't changed it but it probably could stand a, a good oil change but like I say we just put these coker white walls we could have gone the cheaper route and got the thin white walls but the, the wide white walls to me just make the car gives it that classic look but if you got any questions, give us a call. I'm Bronco Bob with Texas Best Used Motorcycles in Mansfield, Texas. And if you're looking for a honey of a T-bird, this is a good one. And again, if you look real close, you can see there's some little bubbles in the paint right around the tail light. I mean, overall, it really looks good. There's a place where somebody's touched it up. You could drive it into one of the cruise nights and everybody would love it. 57 T Bird. Give us a call. I'm Bronco Bob with Texas Best Used Motorcycles. Hope to see you soon. Have a great day.